Welcome to Creating Web Maps from Your Data with Python Folium. I'm Kimberly with RealPython, and I'll be your instructor for this video course. I can't wait to show you what Folium can do and how you can easily build an interactive, customized map with just a few lines of code. When working with geospatial data in Python, you may find yourself analyzing row after row of summary statistics. But instead of combing through tabulated data, wouldn't it be great to visualize your data on a map to spot geographic trends? Or perhaps you want to make an interactive map and save it as an HTML to render as a website for users to explore on their own. You can use Folium for these exact purposes. And after following along with this course, you'll create these interactive maps with a relatively small amount of Python code. So what can you expect from this course? After this brief introduction, you'll learn more about the Folium library, including what it is and its core capabilities. Then we'll jump right into the Python code where you'll create your first Folium map. You'll learn how to update the starting location and zoom level of your map and how to add boundaries for geographic entities. Next, you will get a chance to create and style a CoraPlus map which represents data through variations in color. Finally, you'll put it all together by building an interactive Folium map for data about the ecological footprint of world countries. And we'll close the course by reviewing Folium and comparing it to other Python libraries for map making. So let's get started learning about Python Folium. In this lesson, you'll get started learning about Folium, including how you can install it. Firstly, what is Folium? Folium allows you to create maps like this one of New York City. It's a Python library, and you'll write Folium code to make maps that you or your end user can interact with. Folium is a Python wrapper for leaflet.js, which is a popular, lightweight JavaScript library often used to make maps for phone applications. Folium allows you to create leaflet maps but instead of writing JavaScript code, you can use Python syntax. Once you've customized and styled your Folium map, you'll be able to save it as an HTML file. That means that you can later serve your map as a website so that others can interact with it. You can create maps based on cities, regions, or countries with Folium. You can add boundaries to your map by including information from GeoJSON files. For example, the boroughs of New York City. You can include markers for points of interest, along with pop-ups or tooltips so that text appears when users click on or mouse over those markers. And finally, Folium also allows you to create choropleths, where each color of each region represents underlying data values. Remember that Folium is a Python library, so oftentimes that data will come from a pandas data frame. To follow along with the code demonstrated in this course, be sure to check out the Jupyter Notebook in the resources below. You can run that code by either installing the Anaconda distribution, if you don't have it already, or you can create a virtual environment with the specific libraries that you'll need. Check out the real Python lesson called Creating a Virtual Environment if you need additional help getting set up. We'll be using the Pandas library, which is included in Anaconda, as well as the GeoJSON library, which you can get through PIP or Conda. Of course, you'll also be working with the Folium library. To install Folium on your machine, run the command pip install Folium from your command line. Then, when it's time to use the Folium library, just execute import Folium from your Jupyter Notebook or Python script. That covers the basics of Folium, a Python library for creating interactive leaflet.js maps. Coming up next, we'll be coding in a Jupyter Notebook, and you'll find out just how simple map making can be. You'll create your first Folium map with just two lines of code. Now that you know more about what Folium is, let's use it to make a map. In this course, you'll create Folium maps from within a Jupyter Notebook. This allows you to immediately display your maps in your notebook. 
You can make Folium maps with Python scripts instead. You would just need to save and then open each map in a browser to interact with it. You'll learn how to save Folium maps at the end of this lesson. Once you've installed Folium, you can use its code base by running import Folium. And now to make your first map, just type folium.map. Amazingly, Folium has already provided you with an interactive map of the world. You can zoom in by clicking the plus button and out with the minus button. You can explore different regions by dragging the map with your mouse. And you'll likely also be able to zoom in and out by scrolling with your mouse. And notice how more details appear as you zoom in further and further. You'll be able to see bodies of water, landmarks, parks, and even some buildings. Folium also allows you to update the entire look and feel of your map by selecting from various different web tile options. But before exploring these options in Python code, in case you're not familiar with them, what exactly is a web map tile? A web tile represents one specific geographic area, and web tiles can be raster images or collections of vector data. While each tile represents a specific location, web maps can combine tiles together to represent larger regions. This allows applications to run faster and smoother, since only the relevant tiles, associated with what the user is currently viewing, need to be loaded. Furthermore, when a user pans across the map, many of the relevant tiles will remain the same and will have been loaded already. Collections of web tiles may be styled with various themes. For example, your map can appear in black and white or appear like a watercolor painting. Let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook and explore some Folium web tile options. Folium comes with web tiles created by OpenStreetMap, Stamen, and Carto. You've seen the default OpenStreetMap tiles so far, so how can you switch to one of the other styles? Just pass the name of your selection to the Tiles option. Within your map command, write tiles equals, and then the string, stamen watercolor. This switches to stamen's watercolor tiles. Now you'll see a dramatically different looking map, but once again, this map is interactive. You can zoom in and out and pan to different parts of the world. There are more web tile options built into Folium, or you can even pass a leaflet style URL to a custom tile set if you'd prefer. So let's try one more built in choice. Here's CartoDB Positron. This Positron based map provides geospatial context, but is otherwise quite minimal. It was specifically designed so that you can showcase your own data on top of it, so you'll be using it to make a choropleth later on in this course. Once you've made a map with Folium, you can save it as an HTML file and later render it as a website. First, let's save this Positron map as the Python variable base underscore map. Base map is a Folium map object. And this variable now contains your entire Folium map. You can use the save method on the base map object to save your map as an HTML. Just supply your file name, which should end in .html. Let's call this basemap.html. And running this command saves our map as an HTML in our current working directory. If you execute exclamation point ls, this runs the bash list command from within your Jupyter Notebook and lists out all of the files in your current directory you should see that basemap.html has been saved. And if you open it up, a new tab with your Positron map will appear in your browser, and you can continue interacting with it. Nice job. Coming up next, you'll use options to adjust the starting properties of your Folium map, including the geographic location and zoom level so that you can focus on a specific region of the world. In this lesson, you'll learn how to adjust the starting location and zoom level of your Folium map. 
sometimes you'll want to use Folium to create maps of the entire world. But other times, you'll likely have data for one specific region. You can use the location parameter of your Folium map to center your map about one particular geolocation. To do so, just pass a tuple of latitude-longitude coordinates to location. For example, let's say you want to make a map that's focused on New York City. You look up NYC's coordinates and find it to be at approximately 40.7 degrees north, 74 degrees west. Add the location parameter to your map. And let's say you pass the tuple 40.774. Hmm, that doesn't look like New York City. Let's zoom out a little. This is Kyrgyzstan, definitely not New York. So what happened here? When using the location parameter, be sure to pass a tuple that represents northing, easting coordinates. New York is at 74 degrees west, so you'll need to convert that to negative 74 degrees east for folium. Great, there's NYC. Also notice that because you passed a location to your map, folium has automatically zoomed in to focus on that region instead of showing the entire globe. If you'd like to specify exactly how far to zoom in or out, you can update the zoom underscore start parameter. The zoom start parameter controls the starting zoom level of your map. Smaller zoom start values begin with your map from a wider vantage point, while larger numbers zoom in more. For example, setting zoom start equal to one gives you a map that's too zoomed out and actually repeats the continents. So let's increase that to five. This map is still centered about New York City, so now we see the northeast region of the United States. At level 10, we're really focused on the city, and by 15, we have specific neighborhoods of New York, like Chelsea and the Meatpacking District. Note that you can still zoom in and out of this map with the plus buttons or by scrolling with your mouse. You've just set the starting zoom level for your end user. And also keep in mind that the appropriate zoom start level will also depend on your screen size. So feel free to continue experimenting until you have a setting that fits your particular need. Once you've found settings that work for you, you can save your map as a Python variable and then as an HTML file. When you open that file, you or your end user will be presented with a map that starts from your predefined starting location and zoom level. You now know how to focus your folium map on a specific region by adjusting its geolocation and zoom. Up next, you'll learn how to add geographic boundaries to your map by layering in data from a GeoJSON file.